Am I the asshole? For telling my husband he exaggerated when he said my kids ruined his daughter's birthday? Last week was my stepdaughter's SD 14th birthday. She was in the hospital days prior for a medical issue and now she's better. My husband threw her a small birthday party. Unbeknownst to me, my boys decided to pull a funny prank and mess with the birthday cake that they made for her. Instead of adding icing on the cake, they added mayonnaise. It didn't go well and my SD's reaction was to cry. My husband blew up at the boys for what they did but they said they were just trying to prank her since it's the norm and they always prank each other's. My husband said it was the wrong time to do this on her birthday especially after getting out of the hospital. He told the boys they ruined her birthday but I told him. He exaggerated with this statement. He got upset and yelled at me for defending this behavior and being an enbler. I don't I am because the boys love her that's why they act like this but my husband was having none of it. Not Both he and SD aren't speaking to me nor the boys. Am I the asshole? For saying he exaggerated? You're the asshole. I would say that if the birthday girl is crying, that's a pretty clear sign that the birthday has been ruined. I noticed that there is no mention of having a real cake ready to go as soon as the prank was revealed. Unless there was a second cake with actual icing, that's seriously not a prank. It's just being an asshole. And I don't even like cake. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You don't get to decide how much a person is upset by a prank. You are minimizing your boy's behavior and making excuses. Be better. You're the asshole you're teaching your boy's abuse is okay if they say it's out of love. A prank is only okay if everyone finds it funny. Stop enabling them. Because the boys love her that's why they act like this. You're the asshole for this alone. You allow your boys to bully your stepdaughter and defend it as a way of them showing the or love for her it's disgusting that you think this is acceptable. I think your verbiage of it was SD reaction to cry is so telling, it reads she's the one who reacted like that, it was all her. You're the asshole, make your sons apologize to that poor recently released from the hospital girl and you should apologize to both her and your husband. You're the asshole. Good grief, she just got out of the hospital and they ruined her birthday cake and you're trying to pass it off as a harmless prank. She is owed an apology. If your boys thought their prank was so funny, I hope they ate the whole mayonnaise cake. You're the asshole and your husband is right you enable the wrong behavior. You're the asshole and oh dear god you're one of those boy moms. Rolling eyes face. You're the asshole. She just got out of the hospital, and it's her birthday. Unless there was a real cake with real frosting also, this was cruel. And you were defending their actions instead of disciplining them or telling them why what they did was wrong. Once she started crying, the day was ruined. That's when it stopped being a fun prank or joke, and became a problem. Get your children's behavior under control. Let me rephrase that am I the asshole? For telling my husband he exaggerated for calling my boys bullies who ruined his recovering daughter's birthday? Duh. You're the asshole. Times a million. Was there a second, normal non-pranked cake waiting, or just the ruined mayo cake? I'm guessing no, and if that's the case did any of you actually say I'm sorry to them? You're the asshole. A prank is having her take a bite out of a cupcake iced with mayonnaise, going gotcha, then bringing out the real cake with normal icing. I don't like pranks, but if they're gonna be done, one should be mindful of how far to go. Sabotaging a whole cake on their stepsister's birthday is just mean. Your husband probably thinks this is deeper than just a prank and honestly it might be. You're the asshole because you've raised your sons to be assholes and you have the gall to defend their ugly behavior. You're the asshole ruining a birthday cake isn't a prank, it's cruel. Doing it to a girl who was just in the hospital is incredibly cruel. I'm curious, if this is acceptable behavior, then what type of behavior do you consider to be unacceptable? You're the asshole. They ruined a special moment for your stepdaughter, don't dismiss this as oh boys will be boys, that's bull. You're the asshole so the cake was completely ruined, right? Was there a real cake or just mayo cake? That definitely qualifies as ruining someone's birthday to me. You're the asshole so let me see, your kids ruin the birthday cake of a 14 year old girl who was just in the hospital and you're like lol it's a joke. Jokes should be funny. This was cruel and you are enabling this behavior. You're the asshole. You sound like a proverbial evil stepmother. You're the asshole and are a toxic boy mom. Be better. This is so great a perfect example of where toxic masculinity comes from. They abuse her because they love her. You're the asshole you're the asshole you're the asshole and your precious little princes are awe in training. You're the asshole. 
Why would you excuse and normalize cruel pranks that hurt a child? You're the asshole. Wow, yeah. There's a time and place for pranks, but when someone just got out of the hospital, that's not right. Some compassion and extra care would have been nice, and both you and your boys need to apologize for not understanding that. Info can you explain why this was a funny prank to you? Please tell me because I don't seem to get it. You're the asshole and your sons are not pranking, they are being mean. Pranks should be something all parties will find funny. This isn't funny and no one except them enjoyed themselves. Not a prank. I'm guessing they do this sort of thing often and you consistently stand up for them? Please consider your SD's feelings and why you're okay with your children having fun at her expense. A prank is only a prank when everyone laughs. When someone especially little girls who just got out of the hospital starts crying, it stops being a prank and instead enters the realm of cruelty and bullying. You're the asshole and your kids are assholes. You three seriously need to apologize and start thinking of a way to make this up to your stepdaughter. Maybe for your son's next birthday, it would be a funny prank if your husband got two PlayStation 5 boxes, and filled them with socks. That would just be a hilarious prank you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Your kids are bullies and you're enabling some terrible behavior. Info did either you or the boys try to apologize first or just go it's a prank bro? Has there been an attempt to apologize for the prank? Cause I admit I would be hurt that after being in the hospital for a few days away from family to get home for my B-day only to get pranked after that stressful situation. So for now you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Pranks without the prankies consent are just harassment. Cut the boys will be boys attitude and set a better example for your children by having some empathy for the teenager who just got out of the hospital. I am looking for the part where your son say haha, it was only a prank, here is the real cake now blow the candles. Because surely the prank was not let's ruin the birthday cake so she gets no cake? How can you even call that a prank? A prank is a joke meant to be funny. You're the asshole. You're the asshole they messed with the birthday cake. That's a no. You did enable. You're the asshole. You think that shit is funny? Cause it's not. It's disgusting, actually. She cried, there was no cake, and you think what they did was okay. You know what teen girls don't want? To be embarrassed at their birthday party by people that love them. You're the asshole. That's not a funny prank to pull on a birthday of a girl who just got out of the hospital. I also don't think it's an exaggeration that the prank ruined her day. Also, I see where your kids get their sense of right and wrong, based on your reaction. So I ask the kids I babysit two boys 7 10 and a girl. The boys think your boys are jerks for messing with her on her B-day. The oldest said since she'd been sick they were even bigger jerks. From kids. From the adult side you're the asshole. You're the asshole. That's fucked up. There are times and places for pranks, and on someone's birthday right after getting discharged from the hospital is neither. Also the only time it's okay to do a prank involving a cake of any type is when there's an even better cake waiting to make up for the prank cake and since you didn't mention one I'm assuming there wasn't. So in short you're the asshole and a poor excuse of a mother figure for thinking this is okay. The good news is that you're about to be single again. You're the asshole. My boy's 12J decided to pull a funny prank. I'm sorry can you clarify what was funny about it? When your sons start to harass and be mean to women outside your house, are you going to defend them or hold them accountable? If they can hurt their stepsister, in her own home, out of hospital. I fear the kind of future men you are raising, and the horrible things they will do to other women in the future, including you. Don't think they won't turn on you as well. You're the asshole. You're the asshole and better get that girl a replacement cake. You're the asshole. The poor girl came out of hospital and this is what she gets? A stepmother that can't parent her own kids and enables them to hurt someone that's in need of something good. You're the asshole. Shitty behavior being dressed up as a prank is still shitty behavior. This child just went through a rough time and was in the hospital, then she comes home to celebrate her birthday and that's what she gets? And you think that's okay? You're the asshole you're an idiot. You should 100 be punishing your boys. This prank was gross and unfunny and not at all a proper way of showing they love her. And after she got out of the hospital too. And you knew they pranked each other why would you let them make the B-day cake instead of just buying SD1? You're the asshole. I have a feeling you would have had a very different reaction if your stepdaughter had pulled this hilarious prank on one of your sons. Be better. You're the asshole. If they had a second real cake it would have been a prank. This was mean and you all know it. 
Don't defend this bad behavior from your sons. Sigh another stepmother from hell. You're the asshole tell your boys to apologize and buy her a better and new cake. You're the asshole you even had to ask? You're the asshole you are completely minimizing this. Not surprised they aren't talking to you. You owe them an apology. You're the asshole. Pranks are awful. He's not exaggerating. Your boys did a shitty thing. Parent them instead of justifying and deflecting. ETA I sincerely hope the unanimous ah judgment gets through to you. For your kid's sake. You're the asshole. I just know OP will delete the post now that the sub is calling out the bullshit. Stepdaughter was just in the hospital and wanted to have a nice birthday and her siblings decided to ruin it? How would you react if someone ruined something you were looking forward to after being in the hospital? You're the asshole. Your kids need to apologize to your stepdaughter. You need to apologize to everyone. And a new cake needs to be purchased. I hate pranks. They are very rarely funny to anyone but the one pulling it. A recently hospitalized 14 years old's birthday party does not seem like an appropriate time to pull one of these pranks. Tell the boys that two people picking on one is usually bullying and that they should be apologizing. You're the asshole. The boys love her that's why they act like this is that really a lesson you want to teach a 14 year old girl? That when boys are mean to her that means they love her. Get a grip, you're the asshole. The boys love her that's why they act like this. Is the prequel of. If he's naughty with you it means he likes you. Which leads to choosing partners that treat you like shit in life. I thought it was over in 2023 but it's not. And you're the asshole. You're the asshole I have yet to find any post where someone is supposedly in on, or in support of, a so-called prank who isn't the major asshole. You're the asshole and your husband was, 100, right.